you know, it's just like, hi, put drugs in me. Hi, welcome to Angel's Anything Show. And today I'm gonna show you what's in my box. <laughs> Dan and I have been doing some summer cleaning, you know, midsummer cleaning. And we've been doing a lot of purging and reorganizing and decluttering. And I recently reorganized my special drawer, you know, that has all the like personal things in it. And in that drawer is my hippie box. If any of you guys smoke pot or, you know, are into alternative medicines, or, you know, if you were obsessed with the movie The Craft in middle school and you have been collecting gems and stones since that time, you probably have a hippie box. So let me show you mine. This is my hippie box. It's really cool, right? I have had this box for a long time and this box has been around for a long time. So I don't remember exactly when I acquired it, but my mom gave it to me probably in high school or in middle school, whenever she realized that I was gonna be into drugs. Um, <laughs> one of her best friends at the time made it for her for what she says either her 16th or her 18th birthday. Now it makes that even cooler is that I'm actually filming this on my mom's 65th birthday, which is today. It's also my dad's birthday. He's dead, not gonna celebrate with him this year. It's a little dusty, it's a little worse for wear, but that's part of the majesty. So, you know, obviously the outside is cool, but let's get into what's on the inside. Just like a metaphor for life, you know, it's about what's on the inside. A little preface, I don't like keep my full stash in here, like weed or anything. Like I don't really keep that in here because you know, that's in jars on jars. So that's not gonna fit in here, <laughs> but there's a little bit of weed in here. But anyway, let's get into it. So the first thing that I have is one, one of these, because I've used them all, these awesome King Palm hand rolled leaf super slow burning mini rolls. So they're like mini blunts. Um, they're good for like personal and they're slow burning and what I love about them is that they're not with nicotine leaves, which I hate about blunts, but I love like smoking a blunt because sometimes with a joint, don't you feel like it, you're wasting weed if I'm just smoking it alone, it just keeps burning. And what I like about this is that it'll stay lit, but it doesn't just keep burning. And they're on Amazon, I'm obsessed with them. So no nicotine, no nothing, just like some natural leaf. Okay, so I have those and then I have an extra little pack of filters that came with them. On that same idea, I have some rolling papers and then I have them with this little hand roller, which I like. Once you get the hang of it, it's really easy to use. And this is like if you want to roll joints and you don't have them. I'm like not great at rolling joints. I can if I have to, obviously, but I'd rather use a device. So that's what this is. And I have this stored in a, a jar that weed came in. How do I look, by the way? Don't answer that. So next up, you guys probably know what this is. It's a grinder, it's pretty heavy duty. It's like a real actual grinder, not like a little shitty one. Magnetized, and something I didn't realize uh, is that you're supposed to be cleaning your grinders. And I didn't clean my grinder ever, and I've had this grinder since college, which was a while ago. And I was like, what? It's like the type of thing you don't realize, and then once you do it, you're like, oh my God. Like, I feel ashamed that I didn't do that. So if you haven't cleaned your grinders, clean your grinders, because you're not gonna get the most out of your keef unless you do. I have the cutest little nug jar. Uh, I've had it forever. There are nugs in it, of course, medically approved. <laughs> Next up is kind of a little hack that I wanted to share with you. It's two empty containers that you get when you buy joints at dispensaries, but I like to save the like heavy duty ones because they're perfect for if you wanna to go to the lake and bring a joint or basically anywhere and bring a joint because it's so annoying to just have a rogue joint. Um, oh yeah, a spare lighter. Yes, it's a white lighter. No, I don't subscribe to that whole thing. Um, some tools, because you know, you always need tools, poking tools when you're smoking. Oh yeah, I have a big old pack of um, cones that you pre-roll. So if you guys ever see me rolling, or if you, guys, if you guys ever see me smoking joints that look like perfectly done, it's because this is what I'm using. I'm obsessed with these. And then you just stuff them in. They give you a little stick. You stuff the weed in and then twist it. Oh, a random piece from a pipe that broke, but I wanted to keep this because I use this when I make gravity bongs at home and I have this little rubber band on it because it helps create an airtight seal on the gravity bong. 
two cases for concentrate, for like wax. There's no wax in them. If anyone wants to send me some wax, that'd be great because I haven't had any in a long time. You know why? Because I was just taking so many dabs and it was like I couldn't get high off anything anymore. Just dabs. And then even the dabs I wasn't getting high. I'm like, this isn't right. My chillum, which you guys know I broke like half of my pieces scraping them during my last tolerance break. So the chillum and the bong are like the only thing left, which is one extreme to the other. So I kind of like smoking joints. Uh, a pen battery, which may or may not work. And a charger, which works. <laughs> and then last but not least, I have a smart way, which is a little digital scale. And it ain't for tracking calories, although I have used it for that. But then, you know, splitting up drugs. Splitting up drugs. <laughs> and that's it, that's what's in my uh, hippie box, guys. What do you think? It's empty. That's it. And it has like a woody, weedy smell. So what's in your hippie box? Do you have one? Let me know. What do you keep in there? Dildos? Handcuffs? Methamphetamines? Let me know in the comments below. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Goodbye. You guys, I dropped physics in high school, but I feel like if I took it now, I'd do really well because I am Weed MacGyver and I've learned a lot since then.